don't know if it's in the water, but people are starting to feel real froggy these days. So before we jump into this next one, I have one question. Who the hell is Dan Orlovsky? Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at JRayTheFanatic. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. Now, if you guys are watching The Fumble Live every morning like you should be, you know we have discussed at length what we may see from the NBA when we get back to basketball in July. Adam Silver's latest idea was one of a World Cup type play that would include the top eight teams from both divisions, as well as the top four teams with the best records which would be Dame Lillard and the Trailblazers, the Pelicans, Kings, and Spurs. And even though the Trailblazers are only three and a half games away from clinching that number eight spot, Dame Dollar said, nah, not with it. It's meaningless, which he has a point. It really doesn't make sense. If they go with Adam Silver's World Cup type style or play five games before starting the playoffs, I think we all can agree. It's just to give the better teams a chance to dust the cobwebs off. It's not about giving the teams that didn't make the top eight spot in the first place a real chance. So while I respect Dame's decision, some guy who was in the NFL for 11 seasons, technically it's only nine because he did go MIA for a couple of years, but he played in just 27 games and started just 12. This guy has an opinion on what a starter who is vital to his team should do. I would bet my last good dollar that Dame Dollar doesn't know much or even follow Dan Orlovsky. So you have to thank NBC Sports Northwest for tagging him and saying Dame Lillard called a spoiled and entitled brat by Dan Orlovsky for saying he'd sit out meaningless games when in reality, Orlovsky is spoiled and entitled for demanding he should play. Now, Dame really didn't need to respond because you know Trailblazer fans were already on the case, but how many times do I have to tell you guys this? When you're trying to clap back, get your grammar, your facts, and in this case, your math right. A user who I am choosing not to shade right now pointed out that yes, Dan only started in 12 games during his NFL career, but he said he was four for 20. Back comes Orlovsky, who is all too ready to miss the point and shade our mathematically challenged friend. He said, if I was four and 20 in 12 games, new math, but he should have left well enough alone because Dame tweeted, entitled and spoiled, MF, watch your mouth. My background, family, and character couldn't be further from entitled and spoiled. I said what I said. Dan, he didn't want none of that Dame dollar smoke and he quickly recanted. He tweeted, no, you're right. I was wrong to use that phrase at the end. That's my bad. My comment started with saying, I hope we all realize nothing is meaningless anymore. And if it's about protecting loved ones, 100%. I shouldn't have said entitled or brat, and that's on me, my bad. I don't think Dame saw that apology right away because he tweeted to the mathematically challenged response and he said, you sat out your whole career, basically. Nonetheless, all jokes aside, Dan, good job. You were out of pocket, but you manned up and apologized. I am proud of you. But Fumble fam, what do you think? Should Dame play meaningless games or does he have a point if he sits out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble.